I'm going to give you a little update on the my last video. I was knitting a cardigan which I wasn't absolutely certain whether there was going to be enough wool or yarn as some people call it to um to finish the whole cardigan. So what I did was I knit the back first and then I knitted one of the sleeves and I weighed the, the yarn that I had left and then I weighed what I had knitted the back and one of the sleeves and that would give me an idea whether there would be enough yarn or not. And I, I wasn't I still wasn't absolutely certain but um I knew that the um the two front pieces would have a few less stitches than the, the back and where the sh the neck shaping round here came because it was a um a crew neck and where the neck shape shaping would be round here there would be a little bit extra yarn there and here and I'll show you what I've done up to now. This was the back the back of the cardigan that I did first and this is a size 36 and I had 400 gram balls from um, Aldi's, it's Aldi's yarn, it's called So Crafty Double Knitting and this this was the back and then I've knitted, that's one sleeve that's the second sleeve And one of the fronts, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of space from the shoulder, from the shoulder down to the neck, where I would pick the stitches up for the neck. So that's given me a little bit extra yarn. And this is the second, the second side. I'm almost finished. I've started the neck shaping. And I've got a few more rows to do to get up to the shoulders. And that's that's fine. And I've still got quite a bit of the yarn left, so I know I'm going to have enough to do the neck and the button bands on it. Which I thought, phew, I hope I don't have to pull any of this out again, but it, it looks like it's worked out right. So those 400 gram balls that I bought are enough to do a 36. I've had to do a 38 which I used to do before, as I've lost a bit of weight, so I'm now down to a 36, and there's plenty of yarn in that, which I'm happy about. And that's it, when I've finished, finished the whole thing, and I'll stitch it up, and then I'll let you see what the, the whole cardigan looks like. But this was a 30, seeing it was a 36 inch, I knitted, um, up to the armholes, the back and the, the two fronts, I knitted up to 16 inches. Well, I still call it inches, um, everything's in centimetres now, but um, I'm old school, I still prefer the old measurements. And the sleeves, I knitted to 17 and a half inches from the, the cuff to the armholes. So I think the back, the whole back, when I had 16 inches up to the neck, I think was 23 and a half inches. Isn't that right? Seven, seven. Yes, 23 and a half inches. So for anybody needing to know the measurements for to do anything from four hundred from four one hundred gram balls, the other measurements I used and I would probably have a little bit of yarn left over with this. And what I do with little bit of yarns is I crochet into um little bits of blankets and things like that and I have two very large blankets um, that I've crocheted at the moment that uh, I put over my bed in the winter if I need them that it gets cold. So they come in handy, all the little bits of yarn. I never waste them. If I have anything big enough, I might knit something for my great-grandchildren. Uh, but uh, I think I'd need an extra 100 gram board because they're getting bigger now. Right, thank you anybody for watching.